if you've got bridges to other networks so that you can trade ePulse on Ethereum network, which then turns into RealPulse on the RealPulse network, be a bridge contract. The way bridge contracts works is it's like, okay, you have two networks. Okay, you put some Ethereum in the Ethereum network and you want to move it to Pulse. Fine, this contract locks the Ethereum on the Ethereum network and then issues the exact same amount of tokens on the Pulse network. And then you can trade them, send them, do what you want. And then when you want to get out, you just say, hey, I want out. And then it, you send a transaction on both networks and this network goes, okay, cool, you're out. And then it takes the Ethereum that it had locked and sends it to wherever you want. And so this, this idea that you can bridge value across two smart chain enabled networks makes it really cool because you can take anything that's of value on ETH and then basically kind of wrap it using the bridge. But it's not like wrapped usually has counterparty risk. You can make bridges without counterparty risk. So most people don't. Most of the bridges do have counterparty risk. Like Matic, their bridge is controlled by whoever has the multi-sig keys. There's $3 billion in the Matic multi-sig uh, like bridge contract and they could just steal the money whenever they want. Maybe it has a 24 hour timer on it. Maybe. So you get, so if it goes wrong and they decide to start stealing money, you get 24 hours race to get your money out of there because you don't even, when there's a multi-sig, you don't know if the same guy just holds both keys. Same guy could have both keys. Then the multi-sig doesn't matter. It's just extra tax surface. So, you know, right now there's $3 billion selling a Matic that anyone could steal basically. And, the, and I see this in DeFi all the time and it's so disgusting to me. I got into cryptocurrency to remove middlemen and increase trustlessness and, and have my own personal power and my own sovereignty. And then everyone in crypto, they just do the opposite. They leave their keys on exchanges. They, they put their keys into unaudited garbage contracts. They, they put their keys between, uh, behind admins and oracles. And then you're just like, yeah, well, the admin and oracle could lie and steal all your shit. And they do often. I mean, I tweet about it. Like every week, there's another like 30 to $50 million DeFi hack. It's not a hack. It's just stupid users. They give their money to stupid contracts. And you're like, stop doing that, guys. Did you love losing 50 million bucks? What the fuck's wrong with you people, you know? So I, I yell about it as loud as I can, but...